that were only stunned by the returning officer are two. After four days of a bruising legal battle bringing together some of the best legal brains in the country, the end of the submissions marked the beginning of a more daunting task to the judges. You people are going to sleep now. <laughs> we don't have that luxury ourselves. We will deliver judgment on Friday. I can't tell you the exact time, but uh, I mean, notice you, you, you will be you will be notified by the registrar. The judges must deliver their verdict by Friday and with less than 48 hours to go through close to 70,000 pages of documents filed before them, the Supreme Court immediately went into a retreat at an undisclosed location out of town ostensibly for maximum concentration. And it is these hours that we'll see whether the seven will rule for or against the petitioners Raila Odinga and Kalonzo Musioka. If it so happens that the judges agree with the petitioners' allegations that President Kenyatta's re-election was marred by irregularities and order a repeat election, IEBC will be given 60 days to organize for fresh votes. Article 140, Section 3 of the Constitution on the question as to validity of presidential elections states if the Supreme Court determines the election of a president-elect to be invalid, a fresh election shall be held within 60 days after determination. With the Friday verdict deadline, it means that should it go the NASA way, fresh elections will be conducted on the 1st of November this year. The judges could also validate President Kenyatta's re-election, in which case he will be sworn in the first Tuesday, seven days after the ruling. According to Article 141, Section 2B, on assumption of office of the President, the President shall be sworn in on the first Tuesday, following the seventh day, following the date on which the court renders a decision declaring the election to be valid, if any petition has been filed under Article 140. With each of the seven judges required to write a judgment before comparing notes and coming up with one voice, their decision cannot be appealed in case any party is aggrieved, as it is at the Supreme Court decision where the wheels of justice stop turning. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.